Number 17, complete the square. Just watch which one they're asking for. They're asking for Q, the number at the end. Well, the first thing to do here is take the 3 out. So that's 3 times x squared and 3 times 4x. But I'm not interested in that 17. And it's this part I'm going to complete into a square. Well, squaring this, square the first. So that must have been an x. Square the last, I don't know yet. But twice the product is 4x. So that must be half of that. That must be a 2. Now I can do square the last, so that must be a 4 that I need to complete that square. But that 4's been added. In fact, I've added 3 of those 4's. So 12's been added, so I'll need to remove 12 from it to keep it balanced. That makes it plus 5. And if it's Q they're asking for, 5's your answer, which makes it B. Number 18, you look at that and you think, oh, this must be an exact values question. Those are the 30s, 45s and 60s, and here's a 15. So do you half it or something? All depends whether you recognise the pattern. Without that 15, it would look like 1 minus 2 sine squared something. And then that should ring a bell. Ah, that's equivalent to, that's the cos double angle. So that must be the same as the cos of 2 times whatever it says, because cos double angle is 1 minus 2 times sine squared, single angle. So that means that's the same as cos 30. Cos 30 isn't a half because the sine of 30 is a half. The cos of 30 is root 3 upon 2. So it's answer C. Number 19 of Vector's Pathways question. So you would say, what's SW? Well, SW simply means, how else can you start at S and finish at W? Well, the simplest way would be, go to T and then go to W. S, T, plus T, W. Now, do you know any of those, or either of those, from the ones you've got? Yes. S, T is parallel to P, Q, except I'm facing the opposite way. So S, T is negative V. So I've got that one, that's negative V, plus, now TW isn't one of those. So I'll have to find some combination that will give me one of those lines. And there is, you could follow a pathway around, there's various pathways. If you take a V, and that, oh, I didn't put the direction of U in, and that U, following on from it like that, then the result of that must be, V plus U. V plus U gives you this line here. But notice it faces down the way. This line is V plus U. So this line TW is parallel to it, but goes the opposite way. So it must be negative V and negative U. So negative V, negative U. So altogether I've got one lot of negative U minus two lots of of V, which is A. And the last one simply says evaluate this. Well, that's a lot easier than the previous couple of questions because that just says what power of 5 is 1 over 25? Well, that's power negative 2. So that must be 2 minus negative 2, which is 4. So the answer is D. Or you could play around with that and say, I've got log 5, and then what would that be? That's 1 over 5 squared. So that's log 5 of 5 to the negative 2. And there you are, by definition, what power of 5 is that? Power negative 2. Or you could go in further and say, take that negative 2 to the front. And then you know that that comes to 1, so you're left with negative 2. But you should have known that anyway. Log base 5 says, what power of 5 is this thing I'm operating on? That's quite clearly power, negative 2. So, D for that one.